Hey Fit Fab, we are live on location at Fast Fired Bar Carbone on Roblin Boulevard. But before we begin, I have another awesome giveaway courtesy of Fast Fired Bar Carbone. To be entered to win this $25 gift card, please tune in for next week for when I announce the winner. And don't forget to like this video, tag a friend, and share this video to be entered into our draw. Our winner for last week's Fit Club Fanny Pack is Kathy Bodie. Woo! Please contact us to claim your prize. All right, so I'm so excited for today's episode because I love pumpkin and I love pizza. Today at Fast Fired, I will be meeting with Alex Gertzen, business development leader for Fast Fired. Let's get started. Yeah. Hey, Alex. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, and you? Not bad. Come thanks on. for having me here. Oh, thanks for coming. Come on in. Thanks. I'm going to need you to get some gloves. Oh, on. yes. Glove up. Okay. Yeah. Always important. Okay. Usually when we're behind the counter, we're masked up as well, but we're not open at the moment. Exactly. We're not open, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what are we doing? So we're going to make um, we're gonna make two pizzas today, a pumpkin pizza, and also I'm going to get you to make your own, um, build your own pizza. Okay. So we're going to start by making some dough, the okay. dough that both those pizzas will go on. Okay. So it'll happen back here. And so this is your mixer? This wow, is so our big. mixer, yeah. So we, um, our, our dough is authentic Italian-style dough. Mm -hmm. um, so we usually start by um, getting our our yeast activated. Right, okay. So we're going to add our yeast and our sugar. The sugar is the food for the yeast. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add 250 mLs of water. So that's about a cup? Out of cup, yeah. We we'll swish that around, let that sit for uh, about five minutes until it starts to foam. Okay. And we'll add it into our mixture. Okay. So to start with, we add our dry ingredients, which will be today. We're gonna be we're gonna be mixing whole wheat our whole wheat dough, mm -hmm. but usually. We'll be making the pumpkin pizza on a traditional dough. Oh, I see. Okay. We're just going to make the whole wheat because the restaurant needs the whole wheat. Okay. <laughs> so let's do it then. All right. So if you want to add the flour into there. And just Krista, dump, if just I, dump all of it in. If I make any mistakes here, just let me know. <laughs> dump it all okay. in there. I'm trying not to make a mess. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the mess. Oh, no. I worry about it. Flowers, flour on the floor is something we're used to around here. You're used to it? Yeah. I don't want to waste the flour too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, for That's crying out loud. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on, you guys. Alright. Here we there. go. This there is why we, we have gloves. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so let me add some salt. Some salt? Yeah, I'll grab that for you. There you go. Oh my gosh, I dropped a lot. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what else? And then some oil. And that's going to be pomace oil or olive oil. Oh, I like that. And, and then we add our yeast activation, which isn't quite activated yet, but we are going to use it. It's almost, it's getting there. It's getting there? Yeah. We need to let it sit for a little bit? Yeah, we could do that, or we could just add it for for time purposes. For time sake, <laughs> it's, it's good. It'll work. Yeah. There we go. And then we add water and our ice. So what goes first, then? It doesn't matter. doesn't matter? We okay. could do it at the same time. Oh, yeah. There we go. And then we add, ask Krista, our dough machine operator, <laughs> to our expert, yes, <laughs> to get this bad boy going for us. You'd be surprised how heavy this machine is. I believe it. <laughs> I've, I've seen these machines before, and they're even this thing is really heavy. Yes, yeah, super heavy. Yeah. I was I was cleaning it earlier, and I would try to get it straight yeah. just for the video. Yeah. <laughs> and I could barely move it. I could barely <laughs> nudge it like the inch that I needed it to go. 
And it's always the tiny ones that are able to operate the machines and lift the heavy stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's what Fit Club's for, right? That's what Fit Club's for. <laughs> you know what? Okay, it's funny. I can lift weights, but when it comes to functional strength, I'm really weak. So. Really? Yeah. I'm yeah. Really, like, I get tired. I've been, I was actually, I've been thinking about joining a program. Okay. So me, you and I should have a talk oh, after yeah, this. Yeah, let's do it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know where to find us. We're like right down the street too. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so we're just going to let this mix. Okay. Um, we have some dough made already. Okay. Right, I'll show you what that looks like okay. over here. Okay, let's go. All right, thanks. So I'm pretty sure you've seen these before. I have, yes. So put that down So there. this is what it looks like when once it's been mixed up and it has to rest, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. So we mix it up, we put it in the fridge uh, to let it rise for about 24 hours. Okay. And then it comes out looking like these nice puffy little beautiful balls. little yeah. dough balls. So if you want to come over here, okay. we're gonna we're gonna roll a couple doughs out. So same process as in your last video. Okay, in my last video with Jesse, yeah. I actually broke the dough. Like I. He said, don't go too fast, don't go too hard. He's like, you're going to have a tear. And guess what? I had a tear. So I remember that tip from last time. It honestly happens to the best of us. There's a lot of variables that go into that. Okay. And I wouldn't say it was necessarily your <laughs> fault. I'm not going to confirm or deny that for sure. Yeah, I, I agree with you. <laughs> Just blame it on Jesse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's one for you. Okay. And one for me. So we like to flip it, get it all covered in the semolina. And then we start by using our palm. Oh, palm? Yeah. And we're going to twist it out, leaving the outside thicker. Oh, okay. So that leaves room for the crust. So if you stop, you'll see you get this nice little um, ring around with a, a thicker area and <laughs> in the middle. I don't have that on mine. Well, it's... <laughs> Now you so tell that, me, you told me that after. Yeah, yeah, I apologize. You want to switch? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I think I can I can salvage this. Yes, you could. So then you want to start pushing more of that middle out with your palm now that like like so. Twist it and then push the like flatten the middle part out. And once we get it flat with a ridge on the outside. Oh I see, okay. So like so. Once we get it like that. And if you find that you're sticking, we just add a little bit more of that guy. Okay. Okay. And then you start pulling it out, pull it out the the thick outside ridge using your fingertips. Oh, fingertips? Yeah. Okay. So All right. Slow mo. You so should... then, are your crusts? Do you guys spread it by hand always? Every or... every crust is hand. By hand. Yeah. So you should see. You some don't have of... a machine. No, no machine here. Well, what? Okay, why though? Um, Just so I understand why. It gives it gives the dough a nicer texture. Really? Yeah, a less worked texture, more a looser a looser crunch. Mhm. Mm I would I would probably describe it as. <laughs> so you should see the guy the guys that are working here all the time when they when they stretch these doughs, like we're doing it in slow mo right now, but they'll do this whole process in like seven seconds. Really? So take it, grab it, pull it. Pull it out. Oh, okay. And then spin it like that. Do you know how to roll it, like flip it up in the air and do tricks oh, and spin I mean, it? we could give it a shot, but I'm not. I, don't I think we should give it a shot. <laughs> let's, let's give it a shot. Why not, right? I've never, I've never tried. Okay, let's try. It looks like. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Semolina everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you had it on me. <laughs> that was a good try. That was a good try. All right, so once we get it. Well, I'll give you a hand in a second here. I think mine looks good. <laughs> yeah, I looks, yeah, I think it looks great too. Okay, I'm really trying to stretch it though, but not rip it. So then we'll put these on the peel. They're okay, called, no, this is mine's called... too small. I like a big pizza. How's that? It's not bad. Not bad? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad either. <laughs> So we put it on a peel. This, this little okay. wood guy here is called a pizza peel. Okay. Um, we, there's also, you can stretch it like this as well. That'll help give it a little bit more. Last time I did it, it ripped. Oh, that's <laughs> how I you ripped it. it? I think so. I, I can't that. remember. I missed that part. 
I did watch the last video. Looks good though. Looks great. Whoops. I'll move that one over. We're just gonna leave those there for a sec. Okay. While we make our pumpkin filling mm -hmm. and pumpkin whipped cream. And this is a new product of yours, this right? This is a new product that okay. works especially for for the I think it's for all of November. All of November? Yeah. And so what is this pumpkin pizza? It's a caramel pumpkin spice pizza. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. It's a, a little bit of a prequel or a sneak peek on our build your own dessert pizzas okay. line that we're going to be coming out with in the very near future. So I'm just going to clean that up. And so to start, we're going to make our whipped cream. Okay. Which starts with two cups of cream. I'm gonna so you get... guys actually make your whipped cream bite from scratch? Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, I we didn't like know that. we like the handmade things around here. Um, yeah, so if you want to combine it, I'll grab you the ingredients. Okay. So we're just gonna put everything into the bowl here. So two cups of whipped cream, or no? Whipping, whipping cream, cream. Whipping, whipping cream, cream. Correct. Yeah. Thirty-three percent, thirty-five percent, somewhere in there. The fatty um, cream. The, the full fat, exactly, the good stuff. And we add um, two teaspoons of vanilla okay. and two teaspoons of pumpkin spice. So you can mix your own pumpkin spice if you want with um, nutmeg, allspice, cinnamon. cinnamon, ginger. And clove? And clove, exactly. You can do that. <laughs> It's very, very simple, but you, we, our supplier carries the pumpkin spice, so we just buy that stuff. Yeah, easy stuff. Um, so once we do that, well, one very important ingredient I almost forgot. Sugar. Sugar. You need to have the sugar. Yeah. So Powdered we're, sugar. We're going to use, yeah, icing sugar. Oh, icing sugar. And we're going to do about a cup. Okay. We're gonna do it like this. Yeah, that way. <laughs> I'm not a cooking show <laughs> expert, but <laughs> I do know my cooking. Exactly. So then, once we got that all together, we're gonna start slow to mix it so we don't fling that icing sugar everywhere. Mm -hmm. And at home, you could probably use an egg beater at this point, like an electric hand mixer. Mm -hmm. But you guys do it from scratch. So yeah, we're, we're doing it with Fit Club, so I figured we we got to get fit. One as well, yeah. yeah. Get my whole workout. Earn it, right? Yeah, <laughs> earn it. Exactly. We always say that. You better earn it. Yeah. <laughs> well, but that I, must take a long time, though. Yeah. Two minutes. Two minutes yeah. of whisking? Yeah. Okay. So if you want to whisk that for a bit, yeah, I'll I can get, st I'll get started on the, on the filling. Okay. Um... You know, I don't normally whisk, to be honest. No? Okay, give me one sec. I have a hand mixer at home. <laughs> so the first step for uh, the pumpkin filling is very important. You get uh, a whole pumpkin. No way! And you, <laughs> you have to pull all the seeds and strip it and chunk it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We definitely don't do that. <laughs> we just use the pumpkin puree that you get from the store. It's uh, the brand we get is Edie Smith brand, but you, oh, can, nice. you can grab anything. <laughs> uh, when I was doing the the trials for the recipe, I was using the no-name stuff from uh, Superstore. Is there a difference though? Um, uh, not really, honestly. If, I think that if you were getting the pumpkin filling, there might be a difference in the recipe, but we're just buying the puree. Yeah. And then flavoring it ourselves, right. so there's not much difference there. It's I got intense, it. right? I got it. Yeah, you got it. So very similar to our whipped cream recipe, uh, we do one can or five, 796 mLs of this stuff, pumpkin puree, and we're going to add a quarter cup of sugar. Icing sugar again? No, this is regular Oh, actual sugar. sugar. Yeah. Okay. Putting me to work here. <laughs> And then two teaspoons of your pumpkin spice again. Keep these recipes simple for everybody to remember, including myself. And then we incorporate all that with our, our spatula. Uh, 
I like to mix from the outside in. Remember we were talking about mess? Yes. That's I don't like a messy bowl. I don't like a messy bowl either. <laughs> you have to work clean, right? Yeah. And, uh, and clean as you go, like like this, right? Totally. If we had this loose, oh my goodness. Yeah. It would have drove me nuts. Yeah, you'd be losing I would have said, okay, Alex, <laughs> we gotta we gotta clean this. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not how we roll. <laughs> that flower, that flower back there is not actually usually how we roll either, but I'm just <laughs> trying to make you feel better. <laughs> you know what? I, there is no room for me to dump yeah. the flower. <laughs> hey, so how you doing over there? Oh my gosh. You want to train? <laughs> my forearm, I don't know why I'm so sore. There must it's be, thickening yeah. though. It you, is. you almost have it. There's a technique and I, like I said, I have a hand heater at home. There you go. <laughs> So you do that until it thickens up. Oh my goodness. It honestly will thicken up right away. You can feel it start to get yeah, thicker, you know what? and then all it of a sudden a, it's whipped cream. It's it weird. was a lot of cream. It was two cups of cream. So it's it's getting there. Can you see that? I can see it, yes. Okay, so we're going to leave that though. Okay. <laughs> um, so our next step, we're going to park cook our dough. Mm -hmm. So for the pumpkin spice. Yes. We don't like to um, heat up the pumpkin too much, mm -hmm. or else it melts the whipped cream. Oh, I see, right. Yeah, and then you have a soupy whipped cream mess yeah, on the top. And yeah, No, Nobody likes that. No. So we'll put that in there. Okay. And... Uh, How long will it cook for? So our ovens usually take about 180 seconds, 180 to... I'd say 300 seconds, so three to five minutes. Wow, that's pretty hot then. Yeah, it is. Actually, we're running at 704, 750. Okay. 700 and 750 Fahrenheit right now. Okay, wow. In the oven, yeah. I, so, can see, I can see it, like, bubbling already. Oh, yeah, it starts. If you want, we can start bu building your pizza. Yes, I'll keep an yes. eye on that. Okay. Do it. Okay. So when we build the pizzas... This is the RJ pizza, actually. Oh, you're building an RJ pizza? Well, this is how he likes it built, so I'm going to build it. Oh, that's how nice of you. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you want to build it yourself, or do you want to just dictate? We could do it either way. Um, I, I, I will build it myself. Okay, okay. If you'll let me. Oh, yeah, I, okay. I would love it if you did. Um, there's an order. Yeah, so we okay. start with sauce. So sauce? we have a, a classic tomato, our spicy tomato, and our classic white. Do you have pesto sauce? We do. White and pesto. White he and likes, pesto. He likes, he likes white and pesto mixed together, blended, oh, and it has to be half. And this is the white one? That's the white. So Excuse I'll take me. half of this. Give me and we'll one make sec. a mess. Okay. There we go. Hi, Randy. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, Randy. Hey, <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> it was a pesto. Coach Caliente. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, <laughs> RJ, I got bad news. We're, we haven't prepped the presto yet because we're not oh. open. Oh. You want okay, to put some sauce. roasted garlic on there maybe? Yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah, that, we'll we, do that. That I saw in here. Nice. Yeah, of course. There. <laughs> and then we can, throw some, we can throw some basil on it just to get it that. Make it fancy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm going to change gloves. That's a great idea. Yes. Oh, just my. oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what is going on? It looks like non bread. <laughs> it totally does. It's insane. <laughs> that was really fast. Okay. See, this is why you need to make it. Yeah, tender. exactly. <laughs> We'll, we'll continue with this pizza first. Yeah. This is garlic sauce. I've never tried the garlic sauce before. So then we put it on there and then mix it all up with a spoon. So grab one of those. Oh, and okay. Yeah, mix it from the center out in circle. Yeah, but like exactly, this? Exactly, yeah. Okay. Is that enough sauce? Um, I would put a little bit more sauce in there. However, the the white sauce does. Uh, it does spread out. It right? does spread out a lot. Yeah. You know what? This is so let's fine. Let's just leave it. Yeah. You don't need too much sauce. I honestly had this exact same sauce combination for lunch today. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Jesse told me you don't want sauce at the edges because it'll, it does spread out and it'll burn. It'll right? burn. Yeah. Correct. Okay. I remember that. All right. It looks perfect. Thank you. Oh yeah. So we'll start with cheese. 
That's what we want to do? Yeah, okay. just because of spinach, Madden. right? Yep. <laughs> just like hide this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it also adds volume, right? If you put it like on top of other stuff, it's just so high. Okay. So if you put it on the bottom, it doesn't add a lot of volume. Spinach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's healthy now. You have to have your greens. Okay. So oh, then, good. Yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah, I can't. I can't handle those toppings. Oh uh, yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, and then cheese. <laughs> so then cheese. Yeah. Do I use a whole cup? Uh, yes. Okay, such a cute cup. And then. So sprinkle. Try to get uh, not a big pile in the middle is my. Oh right. Okay. It's not the end of the world, honestly. <laughs> if you do, that's usually how we how we like to do that. Because it spreads out, right? Yeah. Just spread this out a little bit, and okay. we bring it to the meat side, which is right here. And so, so we have chicken bacon, nice, classic. How how much do you guys normally? Do uh, you guys just use your hands? Oh yeah, her? you just give her. Oh, just give her. <laughs> if so you we, say just give her, I'll give her. <laughs> that's probably what we would do. Um, that's good. Yeah. Okay, that looks right. perfect to me. That's and then perfect. you try to fill in the. Oh, fill in the gaps. Fill in the gaps with the bacon. Okay. And then bacon? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I need just a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I like bacon. And pepperoni. Oh, pepperoni? Pepperoni. And how many pepperonis uh, do you guys normally put on, Alex? Uh, it'll be... Just, have, just cover it? Well, I think it's eight pepperonis we start with. Oh, eight? <laughs> yeah. This is not eight. <laughs> This is eight, yeah. It's eight. I think I need about four more. <laughs> that's that's okay. That's the rules. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> there, now it's all covered. Okay. So mushrooms and onions. Oh, mushrooms and onions. Do I change gloves again? Uh, yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, you're joking? Oh. Oh, I don't know. I. This is why I was asking Alex. Okay. Honestly, that you can't change your gloves too many times. That's that is definitely a, a rule. Okay. If you wanted to change your gloves, nobody would be looking at you funny. Okay. Red onions. And what else are they? Yeah, my kid likes pineapple on the side. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, it's true. Like, when uh, when we go to restaurants and have pizza, we always ask for a container. Oh. We always ask for a container. I don't know. It's the RJ. It's the RJO. The RJ all of pizza. I'll maybe uh, omit a couple of those for you. No, no, it's perfect now. Okay. okay. It looks beautiful, honestly. Oh, it's we usually put the sun dried after it's cooked, especially if you're, we're gonna put oh. them on the top. Oh, then okay. they they burn. Oh, okay. I'm I'll hold this then. Put it back. I'll, I'll you just put it back. Oh. <laughs> more spinach. Oh, more spinach. It's, so it's green a salad. Already. It's a salad and a pizza salad. put together. <laughs> pizza and salad, yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that good? And then what else? Okay, I think I'm done. I think this is for salads. Yeah, it looks like it's for salads. Okay. Okay. So we do the shake test. The shake test? Whoa. Oh. Which, which is not, not a successful test. All oh, right, keep, you have to move it, right? Yeah, you just want to make sure it's going to come off there when you go to throw it in there. Oh, I see. Hey, uh, can we just cut the camera yeah. for a second? I'm going to move it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. Success. Yeah. Perfect. I was nervous, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, that's why I handed you the pizza. I didn't want to oh, put yeah, it in thanks. there. <laughs> <laughs> so our pumpkin spice is almost ready to go here. Okay. And then the pizza will take about five minutes, is it? Uh, the, the 
with all those veggies on there, yeah, it'll probably take about five minutes. We like it extra crispy. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So then we'll make sure to pull it out, put it in the center so it cooks evenly. Okay. So now that we have this guy, we are going to build it. Our dessert pizza. Our dessert pumpkin spice pizza. So... Scoop that right onto there. It's honestly so delicious. And who came up with this idea? It was a team effort, actually. Yeah. Really? Yep. Yeah. I think uh, Lucio over at Carbone mm -hmm. uh, was the inspiration, and then we worked on the we worked on the recipe a little bit here, and mm -hmm. that's and it all came out looking delicious. I can smell it already. All the spices. Yeah. They're yummy. Yeah. Hey, okay. so let me put that in the middle. Okay. Um, spread this out with a spoon. And how's your whipped cream coming along? Um, we kind of gave I'll up on it. that batch for the moment, but we have some. Oh, we have some already? Yeah, we oh, do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm good. <laughs> Where did I put that? There we go. Just need to do a little bit more there. Oh, even more! Wow. I think so. Why not, right? Yeah. It's almost American Thanksgiving. Oh, right. Exactly. Yep. There's actually. A lot I think of pumpkin spice to me should go to the end of October. That's, oh yeah. That's my personal yeah. rule. I'll be I'll be drinking pumpkin spice lattes till the end of October. Uh, yeah. That should. looks good to me. How about you? I think it looks beautiful. I'm gonna make sure this. Bad boy isn't burning. Spin it a little bit so we get the uh, the less cooked side closer to the fire. Oh, I see. Okay. Because there is real fire in there. There's real fire? Oh, yeah. Oh, I do see it. Wow. I didn't know that. Question from the audience. What are you spreading? Uh, pumpkin pie filling that we made in-house. Yeah, it's delicious. Yep. It's um, pureed pumpkin with spices. So then we're gonna get the I'm gonna get uh we have the caramel drizzle and our whipped cream. So we take this. Look at that. Little drizzle of the that's our pumpkin spice uh, whipped cream that we made earlier. Mm -hmm. I like to go the same way with my drizzles. Some people are cross drizzle fans. Mm -hmm. I am not like that. So let me double drizzle the caramel. And then we eat it. Oh, and then we eat it? We're yeah. done? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut it and then we'll eat it. That was fast. Right? I thought you had to cook it again. Nope, we do not. Okay. We don't want that. You don't want the pump, uh, the whipped cream melting too right, much. Right, right. It's pumpkin pie in five minutes, right there. Pumpkin pie in five minutes. Look at that. And this is a special going on until when again, Alex? Uh, until the end of November. End of November. Yeah. So that's another month and a bit. Put this right here for a little bit. You said you like it crispy? Extra crispy, yes. Extra crispy. So it's looking delicious. It's looking perfect. Okay. Should we try it? We should try yeah. it, yes. Okay. Okay. So you, you know the fold technique? The fold technique? You know what? I don't actually fold my pizzas. You are folding it. We're folding well, it. Well, like this, but I don't fold it like a sandwich. Okay. Oh, no, no. Yeah, okay. like a paper Cheers. airplane. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> So good. That's delicious. Oh man, mustaches! Can... Mustaches, <laughs> oh, live yeah, people. Mustache. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Little snack for later. <laughs> for RJ. So <laughs> you guys have to try this. It's so good. <laughs> no one hand camera. No one hand cameraman. Oh, he'll have some, all right. <laughs> he will. 
Alright. So good. Just pull that guy out. Okay, I'll put this down uh -huh. here. I think she's done. Look at that. How does that look to you? It looks perfect. Yeah? It looks extra crispy. Uh, <laughs> Boom. So we cut it? Mm hmm. What's that? So you slam it into the crust? Yeah. And then roll it through. I was just going to ask, is there a technique on how to do it? There is. So slam it. Slam it into the crust. Slam it and then roll. Yeah. And then we do eight slices. Okay. So then you take that, put it into your box, a little bit of tray liner, slide it in. Perfect. And so we had a pizza and we had a dessert pizza. We did all of that within what, 20 minutes? 20 minutes, yeah. That's pretty good. Like from start to scratch too, which is... From scratch, From exactly. scratch to finish. <laughs> from start to scratch, yeah. Well, we had to scratch a dough. We yeah. Did, we did yeah, do that. We did do that. <laughs> um, so then uh, if you want, we can put some finishes on top of your yeah, pizza. Yeah, let's put... Um, garlic oil. We have Parmesan, chili flakes. Um, there's some salt and some pepper, some sriracha. What would you like? You know what? Do you have basil? Fresh oh, basil? Basil, yeah, we do. Just some more green on it. Oh. And I think that's perfect already. Here. The basil is not yet prepped for the day, but it's about to be. Actually. Oh, so you want me to do, do the it? Honors. Yeah. Oh, sure. Just break it like that? Yes. I like to break it because then also when you're when you're breaking it, it'll it releases uh, re the oils. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. I watch lots of cooking nice. shows. Actually. <laughs> yeah. I watch lots of Rachel Me Ray. Me too. Oh, no Rachel, way. Yeah. Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray. I love Rachel Ray. I love Rachel Honestly. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> She's so awesome. Like, dream wife. Can I say that? I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can say it. Why not, right? Uh, well, thank yeah. you so much, Alex. It was so much fun making hey, the for pizza, it was making super fun. the pumpkin pizza too. I had it was awesome. Hey. Well, Thank you. we got to talk about Fit Club for sure. Yeah, you know what? We'll talk after the pizza because yeah. now I'm going to have to yeah, work out. Yeah, now you out. have to eat for sure. Now you have to work out with me too. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> next video. <laughs> yeah, next video, yes. Thank you, Alex. Uh, it was a pleasure. Okay, okay, see you. Thanks guys for tuning in. And don't forget to enter into our draw here. Our $25 draw. Make sure you guys uh, like this video, tag a friend, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye now.